everybody, I'm Jedi Jack Penguin, and today I'm bringing you another haul video. So today's haul video starts on August 31st, 2019, so it's the last day in August. I will be getting some stuff, some packages in the mail within the future of this haul video, but we're going to start it off with some stuff that I got at some yard sales. So taking a look at our first item, we have the music of Disney, a legacy and song right here, which this is really cool. I got this for $10 brand new, but I just opened it before recording this video right here this is really cool which we do get three cds in here with some various disney songs on here so this is pretty cool in general and then you do get a very nice illustrated book within this as well which i'll just open it up just to get an overall look you get the book and then you get the three cds underneath it which is pretty nice all inside this nice little box otherwise i got that for ten dollars pretty nice deal right there otherwise i also got some lego stuff taking a look at our first set we have a lego technic set that being set number four two zero two one snowmobile with 180 six pieces right here this is a two-in-one set from 2014 very nice i got this for two dollars right here probably gonna resell this on ebay just because i don't really care for technic stuff but this was brand new and for two dollars i'd pick this up pretty nice to get that i'll just toss that right there another lego item that i got at a yard sale is this lego bionicle set which i don't really know how to pronounce this but this is set number 8911 right here from 2007 right here which it is a little bit crushed on this side but this is brand new within the box right here the tape hasn't really even come off but it is just like getting older in age and whatnot so it is peeling a little bit but either way this is like brand new right here i don't really know how much this goes for right here but i looked it up on ebay and it does go for quite a number and i did pay just a dollar for this since i found it in just a random bin at a yard sale so you know i don't know if i'm gonna sell that or not or if i'm gonna keep it but we'll see what happens within the future and then finally i did get one movie at a yard sale that being the homeward bound series right here from disney which i got the two in one right there with the first movie and the second movie pretty nice you open it up you get the code which i already redeemed we have the first movie and then you have the second movie both on dvd pretty nice then I got this for just a dollar at a yard sale, pretty nice, and it's in good condition, and it's a nice addition to my collection of films. So yeah, that's pretty much all for this small little haul video right here. I will continue it on with some online purchases, including my Harry Potter Advent Calendar that should be coming very soon, and an eBay purchase, so you guys can look forward to that. Picking up with this haul video right here, today is Sunday, September 1st, 2019. I went out looking for the new series. 19 lego minifigures but i did not get them you will see them in the future of this haul video and in a future video as well but otherwise i did go to gamestop looking for them and i did end up buying a video game there for the ps3 we got Disney's bolt so this isn't the only bolt item that will be shown off within this particular haul video but super cool I got this for seven bucks right here so very nice to add this to my collection I haven't played it yet but I will play it sometime in the near future I don't know if I'll do any videos on it probably not just for fun otherwise also at Walmart they do have a new Lego movie 2 poly bag that being set number 30460 Rex plantable ambush right here which this set is not really an exclusive item to Walmart since this was also available from lego.com as a gift with purchase as well as with a movie bundle for the Target exclusive version of the movie so this is just very interesting I never owned this poly bag yet so that's why I got it and also this is my first ever version of Rex Danger Vest which is also pretty interesting so very nice just had to add it to my collection that will be this week's miniature review continuing with this whole video right here today is Thursday September 5th 2019 and it is a mail day right here I got two things in the mail so I just started actually starting to look a little bit more on eBay and just trying to get some good deals and whatnot and for $10 I got the Lego Jurassic World 2018 Bricktober pack right here $10 for this I felt like it was well worth it right here this is brand new inside the packaging with all the tape and everything all around it pretty cool I will be reviewing this sometime in October right here since this is a Bricktober pack so very nice little addition to my collection other than that I also did 
did get my Lego Harry Potter 2019 advent calendar right here. That being set number 75964 right here with 305 pieces and some very nice minifigures as well. Some of them are exclusive, some of them are not right here. So pretty cool that I also got that right here. I ordered that from Amazon. I pre-ordered it, but I did get it a little bit later than I thought I was going to get it, but you know, still I wanted to get this still the same, and that does complete my 2019 LEGO Harry Potter collection, other than some books and stuff that I didn't really think I needed in my collection. But you guys can expect the review for this particular set sometime near the end of December, since I will be opening this up on the proper days, unlike a lot of other YouTubers. Finishing up this haul video right here, I did go to the same GameStop that I went to last time, but they didn't have the minifigures there, which made me end up having to go to the mall, so. And since I did go to the mall, I did end up spending some money at the Disney store, but we'll get to that in a little bit. But I did go to GameStop, and we have some minifigure packs right there. We have a total of one, two, three, four, and five right here. We have a total of five of these Series 19 LEGO minifigure packs right here. You guys can expect the video for this sometime this week as well. I did feel out the ones that I particularly wanted right here, so they will be minifigures that I hopefully like right within this particular series, but that's pretty much all for that right there. So let's take a look at what I got at the Disney store. So at the Disney store, they did have a couple of clearance items right here. So I did end up getting this figure montage right here for $7.99, which is of 101 Dalmatians. I'll just toss that right there in the background. Pretty cool. I've been looking at that for a while as of now, but you know, still pretty nice just to add it to my collection right there on clearance first. $8 right there, very well worth it. And then of course, no haul video is complete without having a teeny tiny bolt plush right here which is pretty funny this is part of the tiny big feet sort of series right here since you know I did end up buying a lot more bolt merchandise than I thought I was ever gonna do in my life here but pretty cool I got this for like I think it was like five or six dollars right here and I think it looks pretty cute as well just something just to toss on my desk just as an another little accessory or whatnot just for my desk so yeah that's pretty much all for this haul video. Okay, so bringing this haul video right to a close, we have our final item, which I got off eBay right here. We have a Lego Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone set, that being set number 4723, Diagonally Shops with 80 pieces and one minifigure of Hermione Granger. This set released back in 2001 right here. This is brand new and sealed. I got this set for $25. Tell me in the comment section below if you think that's a good deal for this set or if you would have paid something different or whatnot, but yeah, I got this set. I am planning on getting some more older LEGO Harry Potter related sets in the future, so I will be taking a more often look at eBay, looking for better deals on some of the older sets, and I will be eventually reviewing this set that I have in front of us. I'm probably not going to do it quite yet. I'm just going to keep it in my backlog until I have a little bit more Harry Potter stuff, and I'm just going to spread it around as usual with all of my other reviews since I am on a little bit of a Star Wars kick right now but I do have two Ninjago reviews coming up for this particular week. My next haul video will probably be around early October with Force Friday as well as my Comic Con stuff that I get from New York Comic Con and some other things and I will probably just add on whatever I get in between till that time. So yeah that's pretty much all for this video. Remember to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so every time I upload a new video. So yeah, that's it for now, and I will see you next time. Bye!